so the next thing what we should uh, also look at is uh, very important I mean uh, apart from uh, I mean, as i told you I mean asset allocation is the best way to create wealth because see if we want to create wealth obviously it should be in the market and debt i am using it as an uh, cushion to protect the risk in my portfolio let's get this clear debt is not for generating a higher return it is a cushion for my portfolio so that i'll be able to manage my portfolio and reduce the risk that's where we said i mean you are doing an asset allocation i have to do it in such a way that i reduce the riskiness of the portfolio right that's where we always have debt and gold in our portfolio because these are two assets which will behave in opposite direction when uh, compared to equity that's where in any asset allocation you will at least see this three asset classes being there so i need to have uh, equity i need to have debt and i need to have uh, gold in my portfolio right and uh, other way is you have to always focus on the goal right goal is more important than what is the return you generate from market right my uh, higher return or unexpected return in equity will probably help me in achieving my goal uh, quickly right once i reach that stage then i need not take risk i can safely take that amount and keep it in a bank fd and uh, live peacefully till i want to use that money for my goal right so one thing which uh, why i was saying in this is when you are doing asset allocation this is the only goal where you will not spend but you will maintain the corpus right for example if i plan for my child's education whatever is the goal amount it will get spent right whereas retirement planning is one goal where you cannot afford to spend it you have to retain that corpus probably till we are alive right so that's where uh, i felt uh, retirement is equally an important goal and uh, there also we need to work on asset allocation so when i talk to most of the people I mean they don't uh, plan for their uh, retirement I mean i can at least uh, say 50% of them or even higher percentage also they have not planned for it right so this is something very important goal which you have to consider so when i look at the retirement planning what we need to be clear here is first to be clear about the corpus what you require right and uh, this will be more clear when you are closer to retirement otherwise there are a lot of uh, calculation methods saying that uh, calculate your expenses at the time of retirement apply inflation array weighted all those are fine but in reality I mean why i'm saying is i can relate it with myself better here i have another 2 years to retire right now i know how much i require on a monthly expenses right so that clarity comes when you are closer to retirement not uh, when you are 15 20 years away from retirement yeah so the best way here is what i will suggest is always remember whatever amount you need right for example let's say i need a uh, 50000 per month right if i need 50000 per month minimum corpus you require is 30 times of this which means what at least 1.5 crores should be my corpus now the safer bet would be 40 times this amount which means what 2 crores right if you have 2 crores you will be able to withdraw 50000 per month right 50000 per month means what 6 lakhs per annum 6 lakhs per annum yeah if it is 6 lakhs per annum you can imagine what is the return you need to get roughly around 3% right that is what is your real rate of return real rate of return if i am saying inflation is around 4% yeah plus 3 7% is what should be my investment return this is what in reality because at uh, after retirement based on I mean, it doesn't apply to everyone if you have a huge capital yeah you can take a higher amount of risk otherwise somebody who has just a uh, I mean, say it, around 2 crore corpus i cannot take a risk of investing uh, all my money in equity right that's where i said to not more than 20 25% equity and your portfolio should uh, generate a nominal return of 7% nominal return of 7% so with the inflation of 4% i will get a real return of 3% so this is what i need to do it especially for retirement so the corpus how you calculate take it as a safe bet 40 times your monthly cash outflow this is what you need to have it right that's where i said uh, use all these things use some I mean, if you are between 18 and 51 
we give you csip options right step up sip is very very important for retirement what is step up sip it is incrementing your sip amount by 10% at least every year right and when you are when I mean, you talk about retirement we always say I mean, uh, compounding works very well because your goals are uh, long term right ideally when you should plan for retirement the day you have started your job honestly yeah because that's where you have the maximum period otherwise I men uh, any day i, I think uh, before the program started uh, uh, he was uh, showing on the slide right I mean, ideally, you should start when you are earning. If not, uh, now is the right time, right? So I need to plan for my retirement because today that is one area which uh, government is also not at risk. Most of our jobs don't have pension. Second is today, I man, I cannot say my retirement age is uh, sixty years. Why? Because in private, I mean, uh, beyond fifty, you don't know whether you will have the job or not. Honestly, before fifty, also it applies, but. at least till 50 somehow you will manage beyond 50 you really don't know whether you will be in the job or not right so which means i can't assume that 60 years will be my retirement i am not working in a government job even in a government job i have seen now central government introducing policy review every year whether that guy is contributing or not all those are coming right so that's where i mean planning for your retirement has to be the top priority right so here how should be your asset allocation in the initial phase what i call it as accumulation phase right in accumulation phase my allocation to equity should be more till at least 45 years of age yeah somewhere around 40% equity between 45 and 55 years and 55 years till retirement i will prefer not more than 10 to 20% equity i will not prefer more than 10 to 2% in equity yeah so that is the way i need to look at it for retirement yeah and the post retirement 20 to 25 percent equity if uh, any of you are here in this meeting were uh, already retired then i will ask them to look at uh, this three bucket strategy yeah if somebody has already retired and you have a corpus how should you manage your corpus for a longer term i will always say a uh, three bucket what it means is as i told you you have a corpus of let's say 2 crore rupees yeah and you want a monthly income of 50000 right 50000 now 50000 for one year is 6 lakhs right for five years it will be 30 lakhs so what i will do is in this bucket i will put 30 lakhs in this bucket i will put 30 lakhs post retirement i said 20% equity is okay right which means 20% of 2 crore is 40 lakhs so i'll put in this bucket 40 lakhs yeah now 40 plus 30 70 is gone so i'll have 1.3 crores in this bucket so why i am saying like this is here this money will be safe i'll be just doing an withdrawal of 50000 per month from this bucket which means it will be in all these places it could be a bank fd it could be my debt funds short term debt funds ultra short term debt funds where the risk is minimum right i don't want my capital uh, to be eroded you give me even uh, 3 to 4% i'm okay with it right but uh, i should ensure that my capital is not uh, eroded now what will happen is after first year this will become 24 lakhs correct because 6 lakhs you would have consumed now i have to keep this bucket for 5 years always so what do i do this would have generated return in one year so even if i assume 6% i would have got this 6 lakhs right so i transfer this 6 lakhs from this bucket and again make it 30 lakhs here so this way my this bucket will be always there now this bucket i'll be actually monitoring it rebalancing every year transfer it if there is any profit to this bucket take it back i will not use that money please understand i am just transferring the profit keeping it here if market corrects again i'll take it from here and put it whatever i have taken earlier so this way i will allow this to grow for 10 years right that is how i can pull my corpus for a longer period because today the biggest threat in retirement is your longevity right i should have capital till i die how do i ensure it because you need to have uh, exposure in equity i can never say post retirement i don't want to take risk I mean i will have to uh, definitely put all my money in safe place it doesn't work that way so with this kind of strategy you will be able to manage your retirement corpus well so this is a kind of allocation you should do it when you are post retiring yeah and pre retirement as i told you I mean follow this 
from an up to 45 years. And another point which I wanted to also share here is, I mean, uh, research has proved that, uh, I mean, having a higher allocation of 90-10 or 80-20, it has given higher return than a 60-40. It has not proved, which means as a safe bet, probably I may look at a 60-40 allocation, even if my goal is long term, right? These are some of the things which you need to consider. I'm not saying you follow it. It is your comfort level, but I'm just sharing my experience here. Yeah. So I feel a 60-40 even for a long-term goal is good. In fact, man, always people say you have a 50-50 allegation. That's the best. Yeah, no doubt about it, honestly. But I will still say a 60-40 could be a better option than that. Yeah. And uh, this is the advantage of doing a step-up SIP. For example, if you are doing a 10,000 rupees SIP and uh, you step it, up, step it up by 10%, your corpus can be almost 6.91 crores with an assumed return of 11%. Yeah. And if you reduce a return also with a 60 40 kind of allocation, and if you take a 9.6% kind of return, this is still close to some, uh, I think, uh, 2.8 into 2, somewhere close to 5.6 uh, or 5.7. We can do all this. So what I'm saying is, I mean, when you are doing a SIP, one is, I will suggest these three things. If you are between 18 and 51, probably this is applicable only till March because we have the CSI option, CSIP only till March. After that, we have to check whether we will do it or not. Yeah, beyond March, I'm not sure because we are giving a free insurance. One is you should go for a CSIP. Second is you should go for step up SIP. Yeah, these are must actually. These are some simple techniques which you can follow to create a good corpus and wealth actually. Very simple steps. Absolutely no application of mind is required here, right? Just uh, do it, step up SIP. And third is it has to be a perpetual SIP. What do I mean by perpetual SIP? Your end date should be 31-12-2099. Why I'm saying this is, Stopping your SIP is the easiest thing you can do. If there is no money in your bank account, automatically it stops. Second is, if you give a letter uh, in the next month itself, it is stopped. Otherwise, you are missing an opportunity to create wealth. That's where I said, uh, when, uh, you, you, when you are doing SIP, remember to do these three things. If you are between 18 and 51, it should be a CSIP. If you are... Uh, Planning for your long-term goal, do a step-up SIP, 10% every year, that's all. Yeah, and uh, give it as a perpetual SIP. And you take a call when you want to stop it. Yeah, that's very easy to stop it. So don't worry about it. Whenever you want to stop, if you feel you are getting into a situation where you are not able to contribute that SIP amount, immediately give a letter, it will be stopped. So absolutely nothing to worry about it, yeah. So that's it, guys, from my side. And uh, thanks for listening to me patiently till now.